Chernobyl, the nuclear disaster that haunts us today. April 26, 1986. 1.23 a.m. Reactor 4 explodes. What happened next wasn't just a nuclear disaster. It was the Soviet Union's death certificate, signed in radioactive ink. Here's what they didn't tell you. The explosion was preventable. A safety test gone catastrophically wrong. But the real horror? The firefighters who responded had no idea they were charging into an open nuclear reactor. They thought it was just a fire. Within weeks, their bodies were too radioactive to touch. The evacuation of Pripyat came 36 hours too late. Families ate contaminated breakfast. Children played in radioactive dust, their shoes clicking with Geiger counters that hadn't yet arrived. But here's the twist. Chernobyl didn't just poison land, it poisoned trust. Gorbachev later admitted the disaster accelerated the USSR's collapse more than any political reform. The lie was too big to contain. Today, Chernobyl is a time capsule, abandoned schools, rusted Ferris wheels, and a 1,000 square mile exclusion zone that won't be safe for 20,000 years. The ghost city still glows, and its warning echoes. Humanity's greatest dangers aren't always the ones we can see, they're the ones we're told don't exist.